Professor Blood was here. We're going to be playing some Dead by Daylight. And we're bringing in the nurse. Uh, I don't normally play this killer, but I put a lot of blood points into her and got her up to really high level. Uh, for add ons, we're going to be bringing in Badman's Last Breath. So, a powerful last breath snatched from the Crotus Pren Asylum patient, the Badman. In the hands of the nurse, it jolts with intensity. Hitting the survivor with a successful blink attack grants the nurses the undetectable status effect for 16 seconds. So, no heartbeat. Uh, no heartbeat for 16 seconds. This effect may only be triggered once every 60 seconds. So if we hit a survivor with a successful blink attack, uh, we will get rid of our heartbeat. And our second is the Dark sin Cincher, a black rope used as a belt in times of mourning taken from Father Candle's body, moderately increases blink recharge speed. Uh, for our offering, we're going to be bringing in a hollow shell, grants 25% more bullet points in all categories, and for our perks, we're going to be bringing in Thanatophobia. All survivors receive a penalty of 5% to a maximum of 20% to repair sabotage and total cleansing speed for every injured, dying, or hooked survivor. We're going to be bringing in Barbecue and Chili. We don't have it fully, but it's, it's, we get the same effect roughly. After hooking a survivor, all other survivors' orders are revealed to you for 4 seconds when they are further than 40 meters from the hook. Devour Hope. Uh, when a survivor is rescued from a hook at least 24 meters away, Devour Hope receives a token. Uh, what's really important is the third and fifth tokens, if we can get it up that high. Three tokens survivors suffer from the exposed status effect, so I only have to hit them once to down them. And number five, for five tokens, grants the ability to kill survivors by your own hand. So we can mori them. And Strider, just because it's right now the best perk I have on the nurse. You are acutely sensitive to the breathing of your prey. Breathing of survivors in pain is 50% louder, and regular breathing is 25% louder. So I guess this will just help us to try and locate survivors easier. Alright, let's go. Alright, we're in the Grim Pantry, Blackwater Swamp. Ooh, this, is a, this is a tough map. I think we're gonna go over there. Oh, our totem is such a bad spot. But it's not a good totem. Gotcha. Oh, I missed that. That sucks. I should have had that. Oh, I can't hit it. Finally, got it. Finally, I got it. Huh. Oh crap, right 
right by my totem. Oh my god, I'm so bad. Gotcha. Oh, here I'll break this bell. I'll just break this bell. Face the wall. God, I've been missing a lot. It's tragic. I'm still learning the nurse. It's, I've only played a couple games with her. Two stacks for our devour hope. <laughs> ah, I can't do it through the wall. That's right, I have, uh, that's, uh, I have, uh, <laughs> Devour Hope, you got a third stack for Devour Hope.
there you are. What? Damn it. I gotta get used to the links. This hook. Distance, that's a big one. Uh, I'm thinking just the survivors can just run out of a certain range and I can't really get them. So they're both over there then? See her. Gotcha. Unhook that person. Do it. Do it. Yes. <laughs> Mori. here. I can't get over this? Oh, there. <laughs> there you are! You're by the pallet! Gotcha. out in the open. Right off. Just put you right out of here. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I messed up. Stop moving. Gotcha. <laughs> See it. Oh, there you can. Alright, well, GG. GG.